Hello everyone, this is Argon Matrix, welcome to episode 19 of The Legend of Zelda, Majora's Mask. So, last time was the 10th anniversary episode, which was awesome, and uh, didn't I just come from here? Yeah, I did. I'm going backwards now, damn it. Alright, yep, so last time was the 10th anniversary episode, and we did some mini gameage, including what might be the hardest mini game in this entire game. I don't know, I think there's one that's harder that I might be doing, I don't know. If I can do it... But the fact is, I don't know if I can, because you can see, I only have, I, I have, like, it's 9 o'clock at p, 9, 9 p.m. on the night of the final day, so. I don't know how much time I have to do things here. You know what, I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to go for it. I have 53 rupees here. Uh, that should be enough to play it, at least. Is there something up there? No. My mistake. Let's look at the moon. Jesus. Look at it. It's so frightening. It's staring, like, directly at me. It's, like perfectly straight, well maybe like one degree or two to the left or something, but I don't know, that's just ominous. Well, the moon's always ominous. What am I talking about? Uh, wait, wait, wait! No, I know something I can do. Maybe. Maybe, we'll see. Holy crap, if it's open... Yes, there's something over here that I want to do. This will be very... Uh, and avoid this bird over here at all costs, because he'll just come down and he'll steal your sword and it'll be a pain in the ass. Yeah. Oh, by the way, the blue bubbles in this game, as you can see, it hit me. Now I'm going blue. That means I can't use my... Yeah, I can't use my sword or anything. I think I can use, still use items, but... Yeah, whatever. Well, whatever. Okay, uh, here's another stone bird statue. You've been jinxed, you can't use your sword. Yeah, I know. Okay, stop glowing blue, Link. God. It's not cool, man. It's not cool to go blue. Jeez, go green if you're into anything. And you're you're already green. Your costume's already so green. Okay, come on. What the hell? It never lasts this long. Yeah, that was fun. Hey, heal me, fairy. Come on. Thank you. Okay, so we're clear now. Sweet. Now let's slash it. And open up your wings for me. The epic wings of return that... Do they go into the wall? Kind of looks like they do. Oh, well. So now we can soar here with the song of soaring, if we want to. Alright, and over here, this is what I want to see. See this guy over here? This guy, if you come here at any time other than the third day, he'll be like mining away at this giant rock slide that's in this, that's here, and he'll have cleared it by the third day, so you can go in and see what's beyond this. And what's beyond this is... <gasps> Ooh, that moon is very large in the background. But here we have... Very spooky looking Romani Ranch. It's so purple. It's like the swamp, like the poison from the swamp moved to here or something. Jeez. So very, very purple. Alright, so we'll have plenty to do in this ranch later on in the game, but for now there's only a very select amount of things you can do. Number one is you can head over here and... <gasps> Cutscene. L look! What is it? I don't see it. All I see is a cage. What? Isn't that your horse? Holy shit, how'd it get here? We will never find out. They never explain that in the game, by the way. It just ends up here somehow. Skull could just teleport here, but we can't break through these bars or anything. Wait, maybe we can. Watch it go boom! Nope. Okay. So we'll just have to deal with that uh, with our horse later. Not with that horse, but our horse. Alright, so... I want to see if this is open or not. I don't, it's it's not like a mini game or anything, so it should be open. But let's just see. Wait. Oh, it is. Oh, damn it! It's closed. Six six a.m. to eight p.m. Damn it. That was something I really wanted to do. Well, is this open anyways? Six a.m. to eight p.m. Wow. So this was a complete waste of a trip to Romani Ranch, other than to show you Romani Ranch itself. Wait, what the hell? Sorry, I was just kind of noticing something about the moon. I don't know. It's like. Is it shrinking? What? It's shrinking as I get closer to it. That's cool. Well, it has the illusion of shrinking, of course. It's not actually shrinking. Alright, um... So, you know what? I'm just gonna go ahead and cut back to Clock Town, because you should know where... Actually, you know what? We can just soar black... Back. We can soar black to Clock Town now. We can just soar back to Clock Town. Can't forget that I have this now. Jeez. Yep, this'll be... Oh god, it's already been like five minutes and I haven't done anything. Seriously, I haven't done any... Okay, Clock Town, that's the one I want. There we go. 
Like, I literally haven't done anything, pretty much. Hmm. Well, alright. So let's just go ahead and... Well, there's that guy over there now. He stole our flower, of course. You meanie. Well, we actually sold it to him, but whatever. He's still a meanie. Still a meanie in my book. Alright, is this open? This shooting gallery that I want to try? This Yes, another shooting gallery, I know. And nope, 6 a.m. to 10 p.m. And damn it, it's like 10.45. So you know what I'm going to do for the rest of this cycle that we have left here? Because as long as you have time left in a cycle, you might as well use it. I'm going to go ahead and fight some epic bosses that you can find actually out in Termina Field. Like optional bosses. I know, optional bosses in Zelda? Yeah, there's probably plenty of optional bosses and I'm just not thinking of them. But anyways, if you head out here and you see these butterflies over here. Yeah, they're so pretty. Look at them. And that bird in the background. Avoid them at all costs, of course. But walk toward these butterflies and you'll fall into a hole. Oh my god. And down here, there's a little something of interest. What is this? It looks like some kind of deformed pineapple. Well, what else to do other than hit it with your sword? Oh crap. It's wiggling. It's wiggling. Whoa, what the hell are those? hot larva. You don't know about it? If it comes out, you get in the defensive position and knock it back. Okay. Cool. I actually never knew you could do that. Hey, go, go, go away. Do I have to kill these or what? Hey, come on. You come out of the ground. I want to kill you. Not your stupid pea hat larva. Well, you know what? Fine, then. If I'm gonna, if you're just gonna kill me with those, then I don't want to fight you. Jeez. Okay. Okay, this could be an episode where we literally end up doing nothing. That would be very bad. So you know what I'm gonna- Oh, I know something we can do. I just thought of it. Wow. Alright. Uh, yeah, I actually remember showing this off, too. Why haven't I thought of this yet? But remember when we saw... We were, like, at the, at the astronomy area, and we used the telescope and saw that Deku scrub flying over into a little hole of his. A little secret area, if you will. And that was pretty much just right outside the observatory, if, if I'm right. Please tell me I'm right, please. Is it here? I think it is. Oh, yeah, it is. Look at that. Hello, what are you doing here? Ah, what are you doing? I just asked you the same question, buddy. You answer me first. God. So rude nowadays. This is my secret storage unit. Wait, this is my secret storage unit. It's a problem if you come in here without permission. Please, I'll sell you a piece of heart if you just keep this place a secret. 150 rupees for one, of course. I can't afford it. Wait, what? Oh, he reduced the price to 100 rupees. What? And no, don't fly away. Please don't fly away. Oh my god, no. I could have just gone and got the rupees from my bank, man. Jeez. We're over halfway done this episode. And we haven't done anything. Literally. Anything. I need to get one thing done in this episode at least. I don't know. Can I ground pound that box? No. Okay. Alright. There's another optional boss that I can show you. Hopefully. If it's not sleeping. And it's just going to send its minions at me. Or if it doesn't kill me. It could easily kill me on now three hearts. Uh, but people have beaten it at three hearts before, I'm sure. Plenty of times. Alright, give me stuff. Thank you. I want hearts and such. Such. Okay. Dude, you don't want to watch me cut grass? That's, no that's boring. Let's go and fight the boss, yeah. We're going to fight the boss of Termina Field, the northern section. Okay, so if you head down here... Um... Well, at night time, they're not here, but normally there's Dodongos out here, and I mean giant Dodongos. Like, not your mini things that you find in Dodongos Cavern. Whoa, what the hell was... Th oh my god, that thing is massive. What are you? It's an Eno. That's persistent and susceptible. Well, I gathered that. It's made of snow. Holy crap, that thing was massive. I've never seen one of those that massive before. Uh, oh, the six-minute countdown. As you can see by the slowed time from the Song of Verse time, or 
inverted time, inverted song of time, is it? The seconds go much slower. Alright, here! Thank you! We can actually do this, boss. And hopefully not die to it. Anyways, this is a... The Dolongo. It'll move slowly so you can circle around to his backside. Got that? Sure. Oh, you just did one heart of damage to me, didn't you? Alright, die. 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 Ow. No. Oh, crap. I'm gonna die. I really am. Hey, hey. Get back here. I'm not done with you, Dodongo. Jeez. What's wrong with you? Alright, this is a very precarious situation because if I get hit once, I am dead meat. So I gotta avoid being hit at all costs. It's the most important thing right now. Oh, that's a bad idea because then I'd circle right into front of him. And he just blew his fire breath at me. Oh, crap. Holy crap, no. Stay away from me. St get away. Uh-oh. He's coming after me. No, run away. Jeez, Link. It's kind of epic to be fighting these bosses to this music, of all things. Like, seriously. It's this kind of ominous music to be fighting these guys, too. It's like, holy crap. It's kind of like the no- It's like no hope music, almost. It at least it gives me a feeling of no hope at all. I don't know. It's like utter despair. That if I, that's the way I would describe this music is utter despair. Honestly. I don't know. Tell me if you agree with me. What do you think this music is like? Like just the tone. What does it reflect for you? Holy crap, that guy almost hit me with this fire. Right. Is this guy dead yet? Seriously. Can we just jump attack him and kill him epically? Yes, sweet. And oh, <gasps> Oh my god, no. Damn it. Well, that's the second death in my Zelda series. Wait, what? 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 Didn't even give me a game over screen or anything? Nothing like that? Well, that was interesting. I thought it would give me a game over screen. Like, send me back to the dawn of the first day or something. I don't know. Oh my god, I didn't get anything done in this episode yet. Oh, come on. There's got to be something I can do. Anything. Seriously. Anything. Anything at all. Really? Come on. Think of something. Think of something, Zack. God. No, there's really nothing I can think of. Okay, well, I'm going to end this episode off here. I know that's lame of me. This is the episode where we get nothing done, literally. That's what I'm going to name it, probably. And, yeah. Um, but basically, this has been a preview episode of things that we're going to get done in, hopefully, the next episode. Alright? We're, we're going to go back and do pretty much everything that I tried to do in this episode. In the next episode. Alright? So, thank you, everyone, for watching. Until next time... This is Argon Matrix signing out. Thank you. And good night.